ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Black Ops 6. You guys knew this video was coming. Every single year we talked about skill-based matchmaking and I just need to rant about this because I've been playing a bunch of Black Ops 6 as you guys have been seeing from the videos. I'm not posting a ton of videos because I'm spending so much time playing the game. I raced up the first prestige. I have a number of golden weapons already. I'm just really trying to get into Black Ops 6, try everything out, and then of course that sets up many videos in the future. You can't talk about the game unless you're playing it. Well, I've been playing a ton and I need to talk to you guys about the matchmaking, but more more importantly, the maps here in this game. Every year, it seems like they ramp up skill-based matchmaking, you know? Every year, it seems like Call of Duty gets sweatier and sweatier. Well, this year, I'm not even sure if they touch skill-based matchmaking at all. I really can't tell, because skill-based matchmaking and the maps that Treyarch have created here just really go hand-in-hand. -hand. When you're playing normal respawn objective game modes like Domination or Hardpoint, it seems like everybody just goes even, or barely positive, or maybe barely negative. We're out here almost every match putting up shipment numbers on most of the maps in this game. I'm talking 70 to 100 engagements a game with similar stats to what I talked about before. You might go 50 and 40, 50 and 50, 50 and 60 on these maps a lot of the time. It's constant gunfights, constant action, constant butt sliding around the map. This opening match here in the video might be a bit misleading because of course on YouTube, you show your highlights, you show decent streaks that you went on and everything. Well, do you wanna know the final score of this match for me? 56 and 44, exactly what Treyarch wanted, 100 engagements and a domination match, which is just like what you would expect from a map like Shipment or Nuketown. The problem is, most of the maps in this game feel like Shipment or Nuketown. I know I messed up the measurements of the maps when Treyarch first revealed them. I made a video saying these maps are going to be ridiculously tiny. Exclusive Ace did a great response video where he came up with way more accurate map sizes, but the original point still stands. And I hate to say that I was right because all of these maps feel like glorified nuketowns. Fast-paced maps can be good, that's what a lot of us like in the COD franchise, but not every map, not every match, a high number of engagements does not mean good map design. It's actually the opposite. We're mostly getting into gunfights the moment we spawn, sometimes two or three gunfights within just a few seconds of appearing on the map. It's not good design when the action is this constant. The game goes from understanding spawns and having map awareness and situational awareness in general to you just being part of a meat grinder where most of the player's input is irrelevant and you're handed kills and deaths on a silver platter non-stop, not unlike the Shipment 24-7 playlist. It's almost like they saw the success of these small bat mosh pits that we've had in recent years and thought to themselves, what if we just made that the entire game? The time to kill feels so inconsistent as well the more you play. I was saying a bunch yesterday and I need to know what you guys think down there in the comments, but I feel like Extended Mag isn't even enough in this game. I feel like every gun needs to have like a 50 plus round magazine to be able to survive on most of these maps. Reloads feel incredibly slow, and I haven't looked at the numbers or anything, and maybe they're in line with previous Call of Duty titles, but those Call of Duty titles are not in line with this game. Reloading is a death sentence on most of the maps here in Black Ops 6. Headshots barely change a gun's time to kill, and the headshot barrel only affects a handful of guns, so the time to kill can't even really be changed. And while I like a longer time to kill, you guys have heard me say that dozens of times over the years, I like a longer time to kill, Having it in a game with maps this small, with spawns this bad, and movement this cracked makes for a downright unfun experience in a lot of my matches. I should say the caveat here is it's not every single match, it's not every single map, but most of the time, that's how I feel when I'm playing the Black Ops 6 multiplayer. I need you guys to chime in on this down there in the comments. I cannot be the only person experiencing this, and I know for a fact I'm not because my friends are all feeling the same way. We'll start the gaming session off in high spirits, cracking jokes, having fun, then like 35 minutes, 45 minutes into playing Black Ops 6, we're all barely talking. It gets very quiet, you know, and mostly we're just saying they're annoyed with everybody else in the lobby. The maps themselves are arguably some of the worst launch maps we have had in COD history. I know it's very early, and obviously these opinions are subject to change, but I would say that Modern Warfare 2019 would be the only other COD title with definitively worse launch maps, at least for the respawn game modes. Of course, Search and Destroy is a different beast entirely. I think the easiest way to visualize this for you guys is just to do a quick tier list here in this video, and I promise it's not going to take like more than a minute. So using the standard tier maker format here, we have C being average, B being above average, A being great, and then of course S tier being absolutely fantastic, picture like the best map 
maps in the COD franchise. Let's rate these maps within Black Ops 6. Protocol, not even average. I would say D, Protocol is below average. The map has zero flow. In fact, it has negative flow. It just isn't really fun to play whatsoever. Payback, I would say, is a B. Payback is kind of like the new Nuketown in the game. It's very small. It's very fast-paced, very chaotic. But at the same time, it's the smallest map in the game. But you're not getting spawn killed over and over as compared to the other maps, which makes it a pretty good map overall. Skyline, I would say, is an A-tier map. I think Skyline was pretty good during the beta. It's even better here at launch. Low Town absolute D tier. Low Town is just, it's, there's no flow. There's water everywhere. It just doesn't feel good to play. It's not fun to look at. Like, Low Town is just terrible. Subsonic is incredible. Arguably the best map in the game, at least in my opinion. Rewind is solidly average. The interior fighting is fine, but then you have all the parking lots and stuff, which just make the map feel artificially large, and you're just running. Other maps, you're constantly dying nonstop because you just have people spawning in your face, whereas Rewind, I feel like when you die, you have to run 30 seconds to get back to the action just to die as somebody head poking inside the movie store and then run 30 seconds back to get them it's ridiculously frustrating at times sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad that's why it's here at c which is average scud i don't even really care for scud as much i'm gonna maybe put that as c tier i don't want to put it as the same tier as protocol and low town so i'll bump it up here to c tier red card is absolute f this is literally cut you guys may have seen the leaks this is just cut from the new Warzone map it's terrible way too big garbage map is freaking horrible babylon here where do you even put babylon do you put it at c or do you put it at d the map has some of the worst spawns in the entire game. It's freaking horrible. It's fun because you level up your guns quickly, you level up yourself, you do challenges, but it's a meat grinder map at the end of the day. It's not even a good meat grinder map like Subsonic is. I don't know, man. I'm just going to put it here at C, but it probably belongs in D. Derelict, I'm also going to put here at C. It's just one of those maps that just has way too much cover, not that great of flow, even though it was a beta map. Vorkuda, freaking awful. One of the worst maps I've ever played in Call of Duty history. It looks fantastic. It's one of the best looking maps Treyarch could put out. Like, the art team killed it. But the flow of the map, how it plays, it's freaking awful. Vault, also D. Vault is just not good whatsoever. And then these remaining maps right here, what do you even do with them? These are face-off maps, which are meant to be part of the original map pool. 16 maps at launch, right? Well, these maps are not even in standard domination. I'm not sure about Team Deathmatch or anything, but yeah, they're not even part of, like, the standard map rotation. They're only there in face-off, so in essence, we only have 12 maps to freaking play here. Not good. If you look at the average maps, these are just solely average, and I could make an argument one way or the other for, you know, Babylon to be down here at D tier, Derelict to be down here at D tier. Just in general, above average maps, there's three. There's just three of them right here. Like, what's even going on with the maps here in Black Ops 6? Now, on top of all of that, with the movement in this game and the absolute plague that is skill-based matchmaking, every match feels the same. It's like I said before, once you're good enough at the game, Call of Duty almost becomes a single-player experience. You're not playing real players anymore, where players are fallible and there's variety from match to match. You're basically just playing AI programmed to veteran difficulty. Every match feels the same. The names change, but the play styles don't. And speaking of AI, I know there has been a lot of discussions about Treyarch using AI to help build their game. And while I don't think the maps are necessarily AI made, I can see why fans are speculating about that because they certainly don't have that Treyarch polish to them. They have a distinct lack of flow, which might be because the game is so new and people are just running around aimlessly because they don't really know the maps. But if you really look at each match you play and think about what was Treyarch going for here, it's difficult to see whatever vision they may have had. A lot of the maps look great, but they play terribly because you're stuck in skill-based matchmaking hell and those carefully crafted sight lines don't really matter as much anymore. Those unique and interesting jump spots or special capture points don't matter as much because you just have six people on the other team constantly butt sliding around like we're back in the Call of Duty World War II headquarters. I've praised the progression in this game to death. I think they did a really good job with that, but guys, I am struggling to enjoy playing regular domination in this game on a consistent basis. Like I said before, before. Some matches are fine, but that's because the matchmaking kind of throws you a bone every now and then. Every now and then you'll get two or three matches where things kind of feel normal. Then you get punished for the next five matches. Then it goes back to feeling a little bit normal again. Like it's definitely like this feast or famine matchmaking where the algorithm decides whether or not you're going to have fun. I may just have to jump in the hardcore team deathmatch for a while and just grind headshots until my secret rating goes down enough for me to play the game like a normal person. And that's the crazy thing too. A normal person, the normal COD player, they don't exist in the game from what I can see because skill-based matchmaking is so thick that every match is the 
same, but as we learned from my Father of Four account back during the beta, all of the normal players that play Black Ops 6 are in their own skill brackets. They're playing a completely different game than us and likely having way more fun. One aspect of the game that I don't think enough people talk about is it's so hard to even discuss or review Call of Duty anymore because there's essentially like 10 different versions of the game thanks to the 10 different skill based matchmaking brackets. A map may feel terrible for me in my bracket, but it might play 100% differently in a different bracket where people aren't all snorting Adderall laced with sour cherry G fuel. I don't know guys, like I said at the very beginning of the video, I'm just venting right now after having put so much time into Black Ops 6, but I do feel like I'm voicing a lot of the opinions that you guys have as well. I just want to be able to have fun playing the game, and I do from time to time, but it seems like nearly 50% of the time, my lobbies are just painful, which is pretty much where Activision wants things to be. They want you to have a 1KD, they want you to have a 1 win loss, and you can literally feel the algorithm changing from lobby to lobby as they optimize our matchmaking thanks to the data. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to this rant video here today. Just a lot I had to get off my chest here. Of course, I'm still going to be jumping in Black Ops 6 later on. I'm just hoping it's going to be more fun than it has been over the course of the past couple of days. This is the launch of the game as well. So, you know, things like the maps, they may sort themselves out over time as metas evolve and people kind of start to understand them a bit more. And of course, when the game first comes out, that's when the game is going to be probably the sweatiest. But still, I wonder rant about this stuff here today and just get some things off my chest. So thank you all so much for listening. Leave your thoughts and feedback on Black Ops 6 so far down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.